Hello everyone and welcome to Crypto News TV. Today we're going to be talking about Pope Francis and the law motu proprio. And he has released a few different letters regarding motu proprio and regarding the laws and the statutes of limitations, regarding finances, criminal actions, um, you name it, he's covering it. And pretty much, um, you know, we're going to read this article here that references exactly in, I would say, layman terms, a little bit easier to understand. But for the most part, motu proprio pretty much means that there is no law. Pretty much, you are of your own accord. And anything that's made by man cannot be above man. So for you to... Um, be charged with a crime or with um, something of that nature, you first have to consent to it or be in agreement that you are accepting these charges, you are accepting uh, the consequences of these charges. And it's very important to understand what motu proprio means. And Pope Francis has been very adamant on pushing this out. And he's been doing this for, you know, almost a few years now, actually. However, a lot of people really haven't heard about it or have caught wind to it, I guess um, the terminology that a lot of people use, like to use is um, awaken or to wake up to the fact of what's going on. And this is what i like to share to you guys. So let's dive into it right now. Now, the importance of motu proprio by Pope Francis. This is what the article is referenced as. According to the New Evident Catholic Encyclopedia, motu proprio in Latin stands for of his own accord and in his and is the name given to an official decree by a pope personally in his capacity and office as supreme sovereign pontiff and not in his capacity as the apostolic leader and teacher of the universal church to put it more bluntly a motu proprio is the highest form of legal instrument on the planet in accordance with its province, influence, and structure to the Western Roman world, overriding anything that could be issued by the United Nations, the Inner and Middle Temple, the Crown of Great Britain, or any other monarch, and indeed by any head of state or body politic. This includes the United States. If you are a member of the United Nations or recognized by the United States or the United Kingdom or have a bank account anywhere on the planet, then a motu proprio is the highest legal instrument, no question. The motu proprio was issued by Pope Francis on July 11, 2013, is an instrument of several functions and layers. Now, I'm not going to get into detail of all of these. However, you guys can go to the articles that I'm referencing here, as well as the actual Vatican website and see exactly what motu proprio means, how Pope Francis describes it. Some of these articles, though, I'm going to tell you guys, like this one here, is only in Latin. Now, if you know Latin, or I'm pretty sure if you use Google Translate, um, you can get around this. But it's definitely worth your guys' time maybe reviewing what motu proprio means, how you can use it, and what to look forward to in the future. As you can see, this article here, or this letter issued, was just July 2017. So there's a lot of development that Pope Francis is doing on motu proprio. And it's very important that everybody, no matter where you are in the world, knows about motu proprio. Because, you know... You, you're not being told everything and this is something that you should definitely know about because there's some things like the new world order that are actually real and it's not a fictitious thing and there's rules that every single nation in the world follows this one correlating back to the vatican and the pope itself being motu proprio so do yourself a favor get out there do some research and learn what motu proprio is and start using it today my friends uh, if you have any questions, put them down in the comment section. I do my best to review them and, you know, comment back to as many as possible. Also, too, if you guys don't mind, give this video a share and let everyone know what motu proprio means. Let them know that laws technically don't exist unless you consent to them.
Now, given being that you're a citizen, you probably have to consent to these laws unless you're following the, the, the world ordinance under Pope Francis. Then you have the, the leeway with Muto Proprio. But again, you could also be using this in any, any jurisdiction as far as the court system's concerned with your consent. And pay very close attention to the words that are stated before you, you reply and, and say anything. Um, I'm going to be giving out more content. Um, there's this video I, you guys got to watch um, as far as silent weapons or quiet weapons for silent wars. Um, I'm going to be doing an, uh, a segment on that as well. And I hope you guys have a wonderful night anywhere in the world. Take care. Bye-bye.